Before we go today, we're going to talk about an amazing organization that you can find right here in the Keys. I seriously don't know what we would do without them. Moat Marine Laboratory is dedicated to today's research for tomorrow's oceans. Now, since Moat was created, the world has learned so much about its oceans. One thing has remained constant, and that's the fact that there is still much to discover. David, thank you for being with me this morning. It's my pleasure to be here always. Well, you are the executive director of the Keys facility, Moat Marine. Give our viewers just an overview of the organization in general. Sure. Moat Marine Lab has been around for over 55 years, starting with who we call the first lady of sharks, Dr. Eugenie Clark, who started work on shark research in southwest Florida. And after a few years, grabbed the attention of Mr. William Moat, who donated some money to start the organization and continue it along. That's why it's called Moat Marine Lab. They've expanded to work with things such as marine mammals, sea turtles, fish, aquaculture, stock enhancement, and last but not least, coral reef research, which is what we do here in the Keys. Okay, well let's talk some more about everything you do here in the Keys. I know it's a lot. <laughs> well, that's good because we do a lot of things. We do some education with summer camps. We do mm -hmm. some outreach with a nice living reef exhibit at the NOAA's Sanctuary Eco Discovery Center here in Key West. Mm -hmm. And we do a lot of monitoring and research that's applied for coral reefs. Coral reefs, as you know, are in big trouble mm -hmm. in that they are some of the first things we're seeing having damage because of higher temperatures and also lower pHs of the ocean. And those kinds of things of losses of corals is what we're trying to have a new way of an applied way to restore corals. So we've been actually cultivating corals, monitoring corals, and actually planting some corals back out on the reef. Wonderful. And now is the public allowed to watch you do all of this, David? Well, they are, but our laboratory in Summerlin Key, uh, which we call the Moat Tropical Research Lab, is mostly for working scientists. They mm -hmm. can stay there. They have laboratories, wet laboratories, dry laboratories, outside tanks, and basically our biggest laboratory, uh, the ocean. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's hard for people to accompany us and see what we're doing in the work. And that's one of the reasons we teamed up with the Florida Keys National Marine Sanctuary mm -hmm. and have a public display at the Eco Discovery Center. So we have the displays and exhibits and people can learn firsthand exactly what we do. Okay, and now what do you have in your hand right now, David? I have some props here for I a like nice them. television mm -hmm. audience, and this is to show so how fast corals can grow. Mm -hmm. This is one of our actually biggest projects we're doing with six other partners. It's mm -hmm. funded by NOAA, managed by the Nature Conservancy, and we have university and private organizations up and down the Florida reef track that are actually cultivating the staghorn coral. This is a uh, skeleton from a once was alive staghorn coral. Mm -hmm. And we've discovered that they grow pretty fast. We'll mm -hmm. just take a small half inch or one inch tip like you see here, epoxy glue it, and literally it grows down over the cement puck. It branches to three or four branches, each branch being three or four inches long. Mm -hmm. And we can then cut 10 more one inch pieces from here and this is about nine months to a year old. Really? So we get a 10 to 1 growth pattern which is much faster than people originally thought that mm -hmm. corals grow. So for the past two and three quarters years from just starting with about 28 small pieces mm -hmm. we now have 3,500 pieces of coral this size wow. that are being planted now back out on the reef. That's wonderful. And the That's whole so project with all six partners actually has 35,000 pieces of coral mm -hmm. that are being planted in the Florida Keys and the Florida Reef Track near Miami, Broward, and Biscayne Bay. Okay, and now this right here, if our viewers can see this, this is a license plate, and I know this is kind of part of something you're doing right now to promote Moat Marine. That's true. Uh, there's over a hundred specialty plates in Florida, so you can, mm -hmm. as an individual, help the oceans, or you can help the manatee, or you can help the, the uh, panther mm -hmm. uh, by having and sponsoring a specialty plate of your choice. Monies from the plate go to the causes that do research and applied, and ours is called the Protect Our Reef Plate. Okay. And monies from that goes to grants for people doing research, education, conservation, and outreach on the reefs. 
and I'm proud to say I've over a hundred plates Monroe County here in the Keys it's the number one plate in Monroe County is it really it is that's it wonderful is. I need to get one on my card you do <laughs> <laughs> okay and if people want more information about you are you always available to take any questions David? sure and they can go on our nice website it's moat m o t e dot org and they can look at our education our shark research and also what we do down here in the Keys okay, and wonderful. visit us at the Eco Discovery Center when's your most recent event coming up David well, we every year have a new thing called the uh, Ocean Festival, mm -hmm. and that takes place at the Eco Discovery Center, usually at near the end of March, and we now bring in over 5,000 visitors for one day to see booths of all the people working in non-for-profits, some music, some bands, and of course a nice tour of the free exhibit at the Eco Discovery Center. Wonderful. March isn't too far away. It's not <laughs> too far. Thank you for sharing all of this You're information welcome. with our viewers. That's going to do it for us today, everybody. I thank you for tuning in with me today, and please join me tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. and then again at 8.30 a.m. Take care and have a great rest of your day.